Teach me, O oh God, a blessing, a prayer, begins a poem in our Sidor by Leah Goldberg, on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew your days, lest my day be today as the one before, lest routine set my ways. After reading this poem as part of Shabbat services, a congregate remarked that there was nothing wrong with routine, and I couldn't agree more if that routine is chosen. Life going well? Certain patterns that bring you joy or calm that you don't want to disrupt? Ask Emily, I love a good routine. But when it means stagnation, unhappiness, and discontent, that's when we might need the reinvigoration of which Goldberg speaks. It's the not-so-hidden message contained in Counting the Omer, about which we read this week. And from the day on which you bring a sheaf of elevation offering, the day after the Sabbath, you shall count off seven weeks. They must be complete. You must count until the day after the seventh week, fifty days, and then you shall bring a new grain offering to Adonai. We number the days between Passover and Shavuot, counting the Omer, and when we're doing it right, it's not about the routine of counting each day, it's about making sure that each day counts.